very close. So we're standing, we pointed out where the water was aerated, and now we have a very close detail of it. Isn't that beautiful? You know, it's almost archaeological in a way, right? It's just sitting there, like a ruins, the circle, you know, so many things could be done with that space. Imagine outdoor theater, imagine outdoor play areas for the children. There's a park and a carousel in the distance. It's a phenomenal opportunity to bring the park, the carousel, and the library on the right side over here and bring the county into the project too and get them involved in the project. To my left, and you can't see it because it's gone, you know, used to be a round feature with a cone-shaped roof uh, where, again, the part of the process of cleaning the water and servicing the water before it went into the pump room. So imagine if a uh, recreation of at least the figure ground portion of it were redone uh, like they did in the 20s and maybe it becomes a stage for theater in the park or maybe it's just a sitting area where the moms can have a coffee while they're watching the kids play in the playground, you know, in the shade. It's a hot July morning and we're kind of nice and cool because we have a lot of shade. So it's a wonderful space, even in the summertime, to use in the shade, which is what we need a lot of in Florida. Another couple of things to point on now, moving on to the buildings, would be the entries, the two side entries and the brackets. If you notice the bracket roofs, maybe we can get a close up because they're very long. They're actually longer than you can build them today because of wind loads in Florida we wouldn't be able to build a, a bracket of that length. But these are very well done. You'll see that the bracket is holding up the roof and it extends uh, about five feet or six feet or so. It's a very large one. Usually with today's uh, design uh, manuals, you, you, you're limited to like about two or three feet, you know, so it's a very nice feature that they're this large and that they're very solid. If we look around the side, you'll see that it's holding on to the roof very well. It's not pulling away from the roof right and even though it has a little bit of stuff growing on the roof don't let that scare you I've seen a lot of buildings with holes in the roofs with people cooking inside with open fires all sorts of things uh, that uh, would not surprise you with a lot of water intrusion and this building so far so good you know it's really holding up uh, holding up very well and again over here we can see the coins really intact so there's a beautiful detail here you'll see the coins coming in and out Right, you'll see them coming in and going back up and all the way around on both sides of the corner, right? So it's a symbol of design of strength. You know, it's a historical design from hundreds of years ago to use coining to identify the strength of a building. 